Hello, tech enthusiasts. Today we're going to guide you through the installation of QEMU KVM on Ubuntu 22.04. Let's virtualize. But first, why QEMU KVM? It's a powerful open source virtualization solution that provides hardware emulation and virtualization, allowing you to run multiple operating systems on one machine. Like always before installing a new application, start by updating your system. This command refreshes the list of available software packages and updates from the repositories, so your system knows what's available and what the latest versions are. However, it doesn't actually upgrade or install any packages. If there are any packages that need to be upgraded, you can run the following command. I upgraded my system recently, so as you can see, there are no packages to be upgraded. Before installing QEMU KVM, it's essential to ensure that your CPU supports hardware virtualization. If the output is greater than zero, then your CPU supports hardware virtualization. If not, you won't be able to use KVM. This command is a diagnostic tool that checks whether your server or computer can run hardware accelerated KVM virtual machine. It will output a message to inform you whether your system is KVM capable or not. If it is not installed, you can run the command suggested. When you run this command, it does the following. Checks if your CPU supports hardware virtualization extensions like Intel VT or AMD V. Checks if these virtualization features are enabled in your BIOS or UEFI settings. Outputs a message to inform you whether your system is KVM capable or not. As you can see here my system is KVM capable. Now, let's move on to the actual installation. Run this command to install QEMU, KVM, and some additional utilities. This might take a few minutes. Run this command. The command ensures that the service both starts right away and will start automatically the next time the system boots up. If you prefer a graphical interface to manage your virtual machines, consider installing Virtual Manager. Run the following command to install it. Virtual Machine Manager is a graphical tool for managing virtual machines. It provides a user-friendly interface to create, modify, run, and connect to virtual machines. Behind the scenes, it can interact with various virtualization solutions like KVM, QEMU, and even Zen. By running the given command, you're setting up your system to manage virtual machines via a GUI instead of only relying on command line tools. After installing, you can launch Virtual Manager from your application's menu. Let us run this command for the service to start. Let us check again and see if the error is gone. While it has worked there is no error now. Let us verify if the virtualization service is running by running this command. This command provides a snapshot of the current state and recent activity of the virtualization service. To manage KVM without root privileges, you need to add your user to the virtualization group. Run the following commands to add the currently logged in user. Let us now create a virtual machine. The world of virtualization is now at your fingertips.
Oh well, it says here it is not connected. Maybe I need to restart the machine for the current user to have admin privileges to the virtualization group. But you can open the application using root privileges by running this command. As you can see we are now connected and we can now create virtual machines. To start, click on the icon at the top left corner. Make sure you have an ISO image of the operating system you want to run. Please select the first option, since we are creating a virtual machine from an ISO image. Click on Browse and navigate to the location where you have stored the ISO file. On the next screen click on Browse Local. On the remaining screens, select memory size, hard disk size and so on. On network you can use the default NAT or select bridge. The remaining part is just the normal installation of Ubuntu just follow the on-screen instructions if you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing for more tech guides. Thanks for watching.